Hello, Adobe Live community. My name is Megan Billy, community manager here at Adobe, and I'm joined today by the lovely Shauna Lynn. Hello. Hi. So great to have you in studio here in San Francisco. Um, Shauna, give us an overview of what we're going to be working on today. All right. So, hi, I'm Shauna Lynn. Um, we are going to create um, assets for an Etsy shop. Cool. Yeah, using Express and Photoshop and I'm going to show you guys how to make really legit looking mock-ups. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about your Etsy shop to start out with. Yeah. How long have you been on Etsy? What kind of stuff do you do on there? I so I, I have two Etsy shops. Okay. okay. Um, I have been on I've been on Etsy for like 10 years or something like that. So the other shop is like print on demand stuff now. Okay. Um, and then like random brushes I sell. Ooh, fun. Yeah, so that one is just like kind of on its own and I just let it do its thing. Um, this is a more intentional shop that I started in June. Okay, so very recent. Yeah, very, very recent. And so I've been going through like all of my art all the way back to 2017 because I realized I had a lot of stuff I could format for this. And it's just digital downloads and printables. Okay. So like basically anything I've made that's like not for a client has ended up here. Great. So it's kind of like a passion project. Yeah. All your passion work. That's awesome. And then there's also like templates. And so I've got okay. um, a couple templates in there that I'm working to expand upon and, and also format for like different um, avenues, like an InDesign cool. one and all that. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. So we, we are going to go through your process on making these listings yeah yeah cool let's get into it um just so everyone knows we are live we're here in the studio in san francisco so we have the behance chat up we have the youtube chat up so drop any questions that you have for shauna in the chat happy to answer those um i see robert in the chat faith oliver all saying hi to you shauna hi faith good to have the community here cool. yeah so where are we now what program um, are we hopping into okay so what we're going to start with is adobe stock because what i've found is when you're selling especially like digital printables it mm -hmm. helps to show the asset in context yes yeah, for sure um so like in the case of why does that oh because that's a video that's i'm like why did that switch <laughs> i forgot etsy's pushing this thing where if you add a video that is supposed to like help it get you know Ooh, sell better okay that's a good pro tip yeah so like I made this in Express. <laughs> awesome. Um, we love Express. <laughs> we do love Express. So, but what I've done is I've, you know, you can find different mock-ups like on Etsy um, mm -hmm. that are just like quick, like easy, drop it in and, and save it out. Yeah. And so that's how I found a lot of these, but I also know how to do them from scratch using like Adobe Stock. Yeah. Okay. Um, but so being able to show it in context though makes a huge difference in how your audience can visualize what it would look like in a space. Totally. As someone who has bought digital downloads from Etsy, it is really nice to see what they're going to look like, especially like those blown up versions as mm -hmm. well, the bigger sizes. It's really nice to be able to see. Yeah. So we have, you know, like something like this showing it in different size ratios mm -hmm. um, helps a lot. And then I have a little guide Cool. So that people can kind of get an idea of what it looks like size to size. Very cool. Before so, we jump into your work, yeah. what is like a piece of advice for someone that would want to open up an Etsy shop? I know it's something that I've been trying to do yeah. for a really long time, but it can be a little daunting. So what's your advice for someone that wants to do it? Definitely like sit down and figure out kind of what the the niches that you want to be in. Mm -hmm. um, because the first one I did has, it has changed a lot yeah. over <laughs> over the years. Um, like I did, a, I tried to sell like a lot of like you know, stickers and things. And I realized like, I'm not good at keeping stock of stuff. Oh yeah. For and sure. like packaging things to send out. There's this, you know, there's this like expectation on Etsy that you go above and beyond. And then you end up kind of like spending way more in supplies mm. than you, and you don't really come out ahead. Yeah. Um, but it helps if your shop has a specific goal. Yeah. In terms of like what you're selling. So um, like in this instance, it's all printables, but it's printables and templates. Mm -hmm. But because I'm just trying to fill the shop right now, it's it's overrun by printable. Yep. Um, but within that, you can have a lot of like branches. So in this case, I've got my yeah, I've got ones for um, kids. I've got ones that I consider mm -hmm. just like kitschy. Um, we've got ones that are Halloween themed. We've got dark and moody. Um, Ooh, those are cool. Yeah, bright and cheery, and then, like, things for kids. Got it. Okay. Um, and so you, have a clear vision. Yeah, and, and in this regard, like, I don't 
a lot of, I have a couple different styles I work in, and these were some that I was working this earlier this year. I was playing with more of like a realistic style just for. I love this. You know, just to do something different. Um, so I did this in fresco. Ooh, this um, would look great in my house, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go check it out later. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of those, like, I'm, I'm very proud of how it turned out. And what it is, it's yeah. a study of a photo I took in Iceland last year very of cool. raindrops on a window. So, like, it was a challenge to get very painterly. Yeah. Um, and you did that in Fresco, you said? Yes, I did that in Fresco. I love Fresco. You're definitely working in all of the products, it sounds yeah. like. I have, I've been in Photoshop since I was in ninth grade. Oh, wow. Um, and that was 2002? Yeah, 2002. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so over over 20 years at this point. Um, but yeah, so definitely like if you're going to start an Etsy shop, go in with like a, you know, semi-clear idea of like what you want to do. And you yeah. can adjust and, and change kind of as you find out what works and what doesn't. Um, but it does help to have a starting idea. Yeah, just a clear vision. Yeah. Totally. So... Cool. Thanks for that advice. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, like, in Adobe Stock, what you can do is look up, like, picture. It helps if I spell it correctly. <laughs> picture frame on walls, like, just one to start. Um, and you'll get, like, you know, random ones like this, but oh, then yeah. you'll get images like this. And so these are what we want to stick with are ones where we have a blank frame on a wall mm -hmm. or in a space. Um and I like ones that have a little bit of a shadow effect onto them because it w helps with that realistic look. Yep, totally. Um, and so, like, I did a, I have, I ended up doing a, let me see if I can grab it real quick. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did do a mock-up of one with stock that I bought recently because I wanted to make sure what I was doing was working. Got it. So this was one where we, I say we, I, um, was able to mock it up in there, and it looks realistic. Yeah, that looks really cool. So this is kind of what we're going for, is something that looks like it, it can be shown in a space. Yeah, this is nice, too, because you get the perspective of, like, it not mm -hmm. being straight on, um, and that really lets you see how the art's going to look in your space. So, yeah. Cool. Okay. And it's fun because there's a way to work with smart objects that takes it a step further so that it will automatically... Ooh. go into perspective for Are you, you? going to show us that? Oh, heck yes. Oh, yay. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> um, so let's see if we can find one that we really like. Like, um, mm -hmm. I guess we should – let's go in first and decide, like, what art we want to mock up for okay. it. Just because I think that will help determine what the surroundings are going to look like. Is, yeah. So if I just – I'm just going to pull these up like this. So we've got some options. Um, and where are you making these? Are these mostly fresco, illustrator? How do you make these ones? These are all either – Fresco or Photoshop. So okay. cool. Photoshop. This this one was pretty sure these are like this was Photoshop. Really? Yeah. I cool. did I did this on Adobe Live a little while back earlier this year. Um and that's so that was Photoshop. She's cute. <laughs> and then this was Photoshop years ago. And then this was Photoshop a few months ago. Cute. Okay. Um so we have we have some options. So like then we have this one. It was all this was fresco. Cute. So which one do you what do you, which one are you drawn to? I really like this one, the Chicago one. I feel okay. like I could see that up in my one of my best friends is from Chicago, and I could oh, see okay. getting this for her and putting it up her putting it up in her house. So let's all do right. this one. Oh, and fun fun fact that's Adobe stock in the background. Love. Okay, cool. So all right, so we're gonna run with this one. So let's see like like something like this could potent. There we go. Something like this one mm -hmm. could potentially work for that in a space. Um, we can look in like, let's see the ones that look similar. Like this could look possibly really nice. Mm -hmm. um, even something as simple as that could work. Yeah. So if you go back up to that one, it kind of has like a glossy uh -huh. look on it. Would you try to emulate that when you put the picture in there oh. or maybe not? No, I'll show you how it can be done. Ooh, so yeah. Wanna, okay, cool. Should we license this? Yeah, one let's go? do that one. Yeah. Let's do that. Doc saying wonderful work as always, Shauna. Oh, hi, Doc. How are you? All right, so we are gonna. We're just gonna license this. Cool. And then with this one too, I can actually show how I. I will use um, generative uh, expand. Mm -hmm. um, just to add a little bit to the edges, so that when I put the graphics and things on, 
it doesn't get overwhelmed and doesn't um, crowd the image. Yeah, okay, cool. So we've got that. And I'm going to go open that in Photoshop. Ta -da. There we go. All right, so because it's already very tight here, let's we're going to do um, generative expand. Yeah, I see what you're saying there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's and it works really well when you don't have to add a whole ton to the space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just enough because what I'll end up doing is having a graphic here. And then there's going to be one going across the bottom. Mm -hmm. And so what that's going to do is make it really tight here. And we don't want that. Got it. So you're talking about the graphics when you upload it into um, Etsy. Yes. Cool. Yeah, because I have um, some little, like I can, like these guys, yeah. this part mm -hmm. and that part. Um, we want to make sure that like the art doesn't get covered by those. Yeah, totally. This is such a good use case for generative expand because it's like something small that you wouldn't want to spend like too much time on yeah. because it is just for the Etsy shop um, and it just makes it really easy and quick. Exactly. And I don't prompt anything in there. I just okay. hit enter, um, which from my understanding just kind of pulls from what's in the image. Yeah, totally. Um, so you can Ooh, see like... Yeah, it did really good with that plant. Yeah. So you've got a couple options there. And so like that's without... I feel like, I feel like the, uh, the optometrist... <laughs> How's A? How's B? How's B? <laughs> a or B? Um, I kind of think this one works better because with this one, it popped in a lot of white down yeah, here. Yeah, and, and it takes away from it. Totally. Yeah, whereas like this down here, this can stay down there and it's not going to, you don't have to worry about it being in the reflection at all. Totally. All right, so we're going to keep that one. So I like that. So what I'm going to do... I'm just in awe about like how cool it did with the shadows and everything, like expanding it. Yeah. It like added in all those shadows and stuff yeah. too. And what's interesting, you kind of see it like even added a little edge to where the wall is. So it yeah. goes this way because there's a there's a, a window here. Yeah, it knows. It's, it's <laughs> wild. Um, I just filled the, put this on full screen so that I can actually move my canvas mm -hmm. around here. All right, so I, I duplicated these. I'm going to merge them together. And so, and then I can turn that one off. So we have our updated option here. So what I'm going to do at this point is we're going to create a smart object, and that's what's going to apply to here. And the interesting thing, I don't want to, wrong, wrong tool, there we go. Um, interesting thing here is we actually have a mat, which I didn't notice. Mm. So we'll be extending it to this portion here. Okay. So, so we're keeping the mat. Yes. Okay. Because the way that we do this, if we... Like we could probably clone the mat out, mm -hmm. but it would probably it might be a little tedious. Okay, um, but it is something that is possible if you wanted to update it later. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the square shape, and again I did not put it up here. Where I oh no here it is. I work on a, I work mostly on my desktop, so my photoshops are not <laughs> synced right now. <laughs> So what I want to do is just kind of get it to where it's the same height, at least on one side, and then I'm going to pull it across to the other side. Okay, cool. So we've got our smart object. I'm going to change it to white, and I'm going to remove the stroke. And then what we're going to do is going to right click. We're going to convert to smart object. And then what you're going to do is from here, it makes a little, it's going to make it a little hard to see, but just trust the process. <laughs> You're going to go linear burn. And then you're going to go command T to transform it. And then we're going to use skew. So I'm going to hold down command and I'm going to pull the corner so it lines up here. Mm -hmm. Do the same down here. I'm going to pull the corner so that it lines up here. And then we're going to do the same here. And here. I saw someone said little mini CS reunion. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what that is, it's Creative South, which is one of the best conferences oh, yeah. out there. I love it. But a lot of us are, are Creative South people. I um, see your fan club in the chat. I love to see it. <laughs> love it. I love you guys. Thank you. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now with the smart object, object started to talk way too fast and I trip. <laughs> um, I'm going to just put art goes here because this is, if you were to because what's going to happen is you're going to double click this and then we are going to 
pull in our artwork. And this one's gonna be kind of fun because it does go so close to the edge. Mm -hmm. I am gonna use um, generative fill to- Ooh, fun, okay, cool. Yeah, just to make it a little, because I realized anything I do for myself that's like not for a client, I don't add a bleed. Yeah. <laughs> and so I always have to do that later on and I always kick myself for it. But like in my defense, I just don't like to work with bleed if I don't have to. Um, Fair. Yeah, I mean. It's your style, right? Yeah, it works <laughs> out. So we're gonna try this. It may or may not work to start. I might have to do it in sections, but we'll see. So I'm gonna select out all of this around the piece. And then we're just gonna hit generative fill and we're just gonna hit generate, not okay. prompting anything. We were just talking in another meeting about generating times and how you need jokes oh, yeah. <laughs> to fill the time. <laughs> and actually, this did not do too badly. No, that it looks really good. Look at Especially that. Especially the building at the top. Yeah. And the light streaks at the bottom. I'm honestly pretty impressed. It does look really good. And then we have a couple options. Like, I think because it's Chicago and I don't know what building that is, I should know because I live there. <laughs> um. I wouldn't want it to someone to call out and be like, well, that's not a Chicago building. So we could get away with it being like that. Yeah, that's um, safe, I feel like. But I'm going to do one more round of generating just to see what it does. Because depending on, like, what you get, sometimes it, it helps to do it a few times just to get options. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, that, that does not work. That's not too bad because then there's nothing up here to distract. Yeah, no empty space. Yeah, that doesn't work. Too, that's not too bad. And that's pretty much the same thing. Oh, nope, can't use this one because it pulled my lettering. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, look at that. But look how it put it behind the building. I know, it's kind of cute. <laughs> um, OK, so one of the other ones that doesn't yeah. distort your lettering. So let's just make sure there's nothing weird happening. Because sometimes, yeah. you know, sometimes you get a little bit of weird generation. Just how it is. I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking, let's just go Yeah, with that this one, one looks simple. Yeah, and it gives a nice angle here with the building. So, mm -hmm. all right, so what we're going to do is going to hit save. And then we're going to close this, because what we're doing is just saving out our smart object. Oh, that looks so good. Ta-da. And you can see it kept. It kept the reflection. Mm-hmm. And so what did you do that made it keep the reflection? So I used linear burn. Right, OK. So you can use multiply, but it doesn't sit as nicely within mm -hmm. the within the frame. And it's like very, it's a very subtle thing, but you can kind of see like it, it doesn't. It changed the coloring like a little bit. Yeah. When you so, did that, yeah. Like you got linear burn or multiply. Yeah, multiply kind of changes the color a little bit. Yeah, multiply mm -hmm. is good for like certain instances, but for this linear burn works really well because it allows all these shadows to stay in and play with the image. Yep, okay, that looks so good. So we have that, and that's what's really fun is like you could do this with any of your images and it would do the same thing. Right, like so you could just go in, put in another image now that we've got the smart object in place, mm -hmm. it will just update Exactly. It's so like I literally, I could go in and I could just grab another one just for, let's just do it for, you know, kicks. Um, I'm not going to do anything to this one. I'm just going to expand it, and we're just going to know it's going to look like bad. But you can see this; Doesn't it works. Look still. Bad. It looks pretty good. <laughs> well, thank you. But it, it still it works out because it fills that whole area. And also, yeah, I just noticed my sad. shoulders are going up to my ears. And I need to <laughs> relax, relax your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bad working habit I have. I get very into like what I'm doing, and my Same. shoulders just like rise. I'm a hunter too. <laughs> yes, and it's so bad for all of us. Like we should know better. Um, but yeah, so we have linear linear burn worked. We have our, our mock-up here, and we have it expanded out really nicely. Yeah. So I'm going to save this, and I can save this to CC as well. Um, and we can do it both ways if we want and just see how how well it works. Oh, hang on. There we go. So, oh, I can't save it to my cloud docs. I'm not sure why. Hmm. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> I was having an issue getting on earlier, so. Yeah, I was going to say it might be the Wi-Fi. Yeah, there. it could be. There's a very high chance it is probably just the, the Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. Um, so let me close these out here. So what we can do here, I made folders for all this so that I knew what was going on. 
So with Etsy, finding like finding what the um, ratios and stuff are for your images is the hardest thing because every website says something different. Oh yeah. I like they were doing um, a four three ratio for a long time. They were doing like you know they were saying square. They were saying four three ratio. They yeah. were saying this that. You'll go on some people's listings and they're all like every image is a different ratio. Mm -hmm. um, I f this morning I finally found the confirmation from Etsy that they say to do a um, 2,000 by 2,000 pixel. Okay. Um, because they say 2,000 pixels on the widest side. Mm -hmm. But they're pushing more of a square ratio now. So they say do the square ratio and then you can adjust your images to um, based on that. Okay. Good to know. Good yeah. tip. So we are going to create a custom size. There we go. We're gonna do custom size. We're gonna do two thousand. And also in the in the quick actions, there actually are a few Etsy options. I was about to ask, just out of curiosity, do they have the Etsy sizes? Yeah, in I there? I looked and I found them. I was in the wrong tab. There we go. They have a banner and okay. a cover, so not okay. the listing image, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to go in and like make something for your uh, Etsy shop, you could do it with those. Like yes. you have that beautiful banner on your Etsy shop. Yes, exactly. Um, and they because they have like banner and they have a cover and there's like one I use the banner but if you subscribe there's I think a cover option. Okay. It's it's very confusing at times but <laughs> um but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload from my device we're gonna grab the oh, wrong one. This is what happens because I don't label my files. <laughs> I'm really bad at labeling mine. I have like un. Untitled one, untitled two, untitled three. Oh, I'm the worst at that. If it's for myself, I don't name things. <laughs> and, um, and you can see it's not a perfect square because I didn't keep mm -hmm. the square ratio like as I was expanding it. Um, and it could, it, I think it's uploading, so it's taking yeah, it's a little time. So we'll come back to this in a moment. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the images that go on the top and bottom. So we have these labels that will work really nicely. And I set them up and I what the one thing that I wanted to do is to make specific colors for different themes. Okay. So that if you go in the shop and you see like this color, you know immediately it's a children's room one. Mm-hmm. Um, et cetera and so forth. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, these are the banners that are gonna go on top of the listing and on the bottom of the listing, letting you know kind of what the listing is. Mm-hmm. So I discovered generative, gen, there. Let me try that again. Generative <laughs> recolor <laughs> works really nicely for this. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so if we're doing a children's room, like let's mm. do, let's just type in children's room and see what colors it brings up. And if anyone in the chat like wants me to, wants me to like prompt different things, let me know because oh, I can yeah, see us. what different colors happens. Why did it not? Gotta love on the fly because this worked just fine before. <laughs> Okay, we have our two colors. Let's just do one of the random ones and see yeah. if it does it. Because if not, then I'm gonna have to, gonna have to troubleshoot and see what's going on. The joys of being live, right? I know. I promised this worked yesterday. <laughs> um, all right, hang on, hang tight, people. Let's uh, let's ungroup. See if maybe that'll maybe. do it. generating joke <laughs> oh my goodness oh no oh goodness sorry guys I don't know why it was doing this let me see if I just change colors if it does something different because it could just be that yeah, it's black and white it's black and white so we're just gonna do really random ugly colors I was trying to make it black and white so it was like easy to work with yeah and like easy to see and uniform all right let's try I don't hate that color combo, actually. I don't hate that actually. random <laughs> color combo <laughs> that you picked. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. It's always when you're live, right? Like I know. when you're not live, of course it's gonna work. There we go. There we go. It's not like these aren't great mm. responses to it. Maybe if we like add a little bit more, like energetic children's room. Oh, that's good. Let's see. Energetic, yeah. 
Maybe it doesn't know. It's like, what color would you paint a child's room? (laughs) Just give me pastels. I mean, it is giving you pastels. It's giving me pastels. It's giving me some some very bland options, actually. Yeah. Let's just put. Let's maybe let's do pastel kid room. Mm. Maybe the maybe the apostrophe is throwing it off. And then if this doesn't work, we'll try bedroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe it doesn't know what you mean by room. It could. Yeah, it could be like. Well, I mean, kid living room, kid kitchen, kid, <laughs> kid kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I'm just picturing a cute little kid kitchen. <laughs> I have so many friends that are having kids, and they've got all those adorable little, like, my first, you know, furniture things. Oh, and cute. I've got one friend that has the cutest kitchen for her little daughter. Did you have an Easy Bake Oven? I absolutely did. <laughs> I also had, there was a McDonald's fry one. Oh. With, like, you'd put bread in, and you'd put cinnamon sugar on it. Yeah. There was nothing healthy about any of these things no, that we had as kids. No, of course not. Of course not. There was also like a Baskin Robbins ice cream maker, and I saw it on TikTok recently, and I was like, this is a core memory that I forgot I had. Okay, so we're getting some pastels. Like, that's not bad, actually. No. That screams kid to me. That does. Okay, let's keep that, and then we'll do something. We'll do this one, and let's see if we can get this one to work. Um, and we'll do the same prompt. And it saves it, so we can just do it again. Oh, nice. It's nice when you're when you're writing like a really long prompt. Yeah. And same thing. Okay, hmm. so let's try this. We're just gonna change random colors because I don't want it to be the same color as this because oh, it you needs to, to be different. legible. Okay. Yeah, like I want it to work together, but it should be, it should remain legible because if we did this orange in this small type, mm-hmm. it would it would cause mm. a lot of like legibility issues. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Robert, no extra assistant today. No, because I'm in a completely different city as the as the buddy. I have a, a Shih Tzu that has a fan club. Oh. Um, What's their name? Teddy Bear. Oh, cute. <laughs> yeah, his, his birthday's next week. He's going to be 12. Oh, yeah. he's, he's an old guy. He's an old man. <laughs> he's kind of working. Yeah, I like him. Let's, let's give it one more round and see, okay. like, if... Because I don't mind that staying white. Yeah, I feel like it needs to be white or black because it is a smaller yeah. print. And I think I like the lighter one. This one? Yeah. Can you see the print well enough, you think? I think so. Because, yeah. I mean, the smallest it's going to get is about that. Yeah. So let's let's run with this. And so what I have in here, too, as far as, like, the information is... I offer four different sizes mm. when um, I upload it, and they can up, they can download either of those four sizes. They can okay. download all four of them if they yeah. want. Um, but I also have a TOC, Terms and Conditions, that I put in there so that I make sure that it says you cannot resell this. You can only print it for personal use. So huh. it's like you can only use it like in your own home. You can use it in a short-term rental. You can use it in your in your office. Um, but you can't go and try to like print it out and then go sell it to other people. Right. So that's a good tip to have, again, uh, yeah. if you're starting an Etsy shop, just to be really clear about the terms and conditions of what you're selling. Yeah. like mm-hmm. and, it, and also very clear about like the fact that it is a digital download. Yeah. Because by mocking it up, people sometimes will look at it and think <laughs> that they're getting a physical thing, even though they're, you're like, it is very cheap. This I is for not. sure have <laughs> thought that. And they're like, wow, $7. It's very cheap for a frame. <laughs> then you yeah. realize. So we're going to see if... Um, CC sinks and go from there because I was yep okay to um, express yeah we're gonna see if it sinks and if it doesn't I'll go back and save these out because um, I was having internet troubles in my in my hotel room too like that's still what's going on internet issues today in the yeah. studio <laughs> all right we're gonna go and save that to let me see if it'll let me save to CC yet no what hmm. is going on I don't know the chat is blowing up about your dog, though. Yeah, he's. I told you, he's got a fan club. <laughs> he, he has a little fan club. Um, so I'm going to put 00 in front of this just so I know which one it is. Okay. We're going to save it out as a JPEG. And we're going to go from there. Oh. It worked. Right? 
it yeah it's clear now it just needed a little minute <laughs> just needed it just needed the tiny just smudge. needed us to talk about your dog and then it was like all right <laughs> teddy i'll brings, work for you now <laughs> teddy brings all the good vibes the good energy yeah he's he, my mom is watching him currently and so if she's got this on at home he's probably like i hear her and i don't see uh, her that's so sweet he's a good boy <laughs> Okay, um, so it did work. The linked asset yes. did work. So, so it you looks were like we finally everything finally caught up. Caught up. Okay, so you saved it in um, Illustrator to your CC library. Yes, and then pulled it over into Express. Yeah. So here, let me uh, expand my little library here. So I have a um, little folder under there. I put graphics, and that's mm -hmm. where I dropped it. Mm -hmm. um, so we have this. This is my favorite part about Express is that it works that easily with yes. um, your n normal product. Normal, that's not the right word. Your professional products like Photoshop and yeah. Illustrator. Your everyday, your everyday, everyday creative products. And um, actually, I love that color combo. Actually. I do too, especially for a kids' room. Yeah, this is not the print to no, use it's it not. with, but, but let's go do. Let's go prompt for the for the city colors. Let's. What would you yeah. call this? Like. Dark and moody. Yeah, dark, moody, rainy city. That might okay. be too much. But dark, rainy, moody city. Moody city. Um, all right. Now that so now that it seems that things have caught up, let's see if it will um, generate. Yeah. I think your mom is in the chat saying, "Mr. Teddy is yes, listening." Yes, that's my mama. <laughs> hey, mom. This is so sweet. I love it. <laughs> yeah, just go. Mr. Teddy's listening, and that means um, her her dog Simon is there as well. Hi, Hello. Simon. Every stream I do, we somehow end up talking about dogs every single time. Because dogs are, are joyful are the and best. they make life so much better. Yes, they do. Um, dark and moody city. Let's see if that brings up color. But if it doesn't work, we'll do the same hack again. Yeah, okay, we'll do the same hack. We'll just, Changing the color. Yeah, we'll just change it to random colors and then we'll um, go from there. Go over here. Um, so I'm just going to open advanced options and I'm just going to change this. This is the old school way this was done. Yes, I want to add a color to the color harmony. So this is going to be an ugly. <laughs> Definitely not going to match the <laughs> Chicago. No, not at all. We're just trying to grab like, Something. I don't hate that. I don't either. You keep saying it's not going to work and then it keeps looking super good. We're just going to save that over there for later. All right, now we're gonna generate a free color. All right, so dark and moody city. Since I already prompted that, there it is. Um, okay. Okay. I don't hate that. That kind of works. I like too. that one. Yeah. That's too, a little too stark, I think. Too yeah, too much. I like that one a lot. I do too. Let's prompt one more time and see what we can what we get. The nice thing too about it linking is like you could put it into the art and then come back, regenerate it, and then go back and you'll be able to yes. like switch between the two and see what it looks like in the real world. Yeah, this is true and it's a fantastic feature. Okay, what did we say we liked? That was, it was this one? This one, yep. Or this, I like the first, I like this yeah, one. Yeah, at least a little color. Yeah. And I have these on different artboards, so I have them saved out with like their own names here. So mm. this one's Header, Dark and Moody. And this would be Footer, Dark and Moody. You're so organized. I'm not usually this organized. <laughs> I, this is this is all an illusion. <laughs> what are some of these? Oh, we're doing the same one. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's the exact same Footer. Dark and Moody. Yeah, Dark and Moody, same content and Again, black and white doesn't work. I'm I'm gonna have to do some research as to why it yeah, won't generate around black and white. Yeah, I don't know either. That seems weird to me because I've seen it do black and white before. I, I have too, and you know sometimes like I just upgrade, I just updated my computer mm. to the new OS, and that could be messing with it. Yeah, it could. Um, it's it's completely possible. Um, so we're gonna go to the advanced, and we're just gonna add this. Yeah, we're gonna add to the color harmony here. Grab a random color. Keep grabbing such good colors. <laughs> I love that light blue. It's like not intentional and it just keeps happening. And then this one I need to switch it to. There we go. It didn't change. Why did it not change that color? The colors are not. Oh, there we go. There we yeah, go. They're, they're not. The colors are not coloring today. <laughs> I promise you all this stuff works. It just. It does. It does. 
just doesn't want to work with me Let's today. Blame it on the Wi-Fi, right? <laughs> Truthfully, I think the Wi-Fi will have a lot to do with it because I was um, troubleshooting stuff on the plane yesterday, mm. and it, the my computer was like, I don't know what you want. What are you but, doing right now on this yeah. plane Wi-Fi? <laughs> and I spent most of it worried. Like I didn't want the guy in front of me like put a seat back, and I've heard horror stories of people with their directly connect to you to kill the Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. okay. Our studio manager is Walk plugging us in okay. to the Ethernet. Let's see if that works. Where is the other button? Troubleshooting on the fly here in San Francisco today. Yes. Allow. I right, see if this works. Um, I need the info. Cancel. Cancel. Okay. All right. All right. We're just gonna. In the meantime. In the meantime. <laughs> how are you today? <laughs> I'm good. I am excited about Max, which is yes. next week. Will you be there? Um, I will not, unfortunately. No. I will probably tune in virtually, though. Okay, yeah. Lots of great content to tune in online, mm -hmm. especially Adobe Live. We'll be streaming all day on Tuesday and Wednesday from the Max floor, which will be really cool. Bye. We'll have first looks into some of the stuff that was released at Max, as well as um, Meet the Speakers. So sessions with people that are hosting sessions. Um, where we can, <laughs> where we can learn more about them as artists. Oh, cool. and it's in LA, right? It's in LA. Yeah. Very nice. And online. And right. online. <laughs> online back. has been such a game changer. I know for that. it is so nice for everyone that can't make it to LA. Yes, I was able to attend in person a few years ago. Um, you know, pre-pandemic. Yes. Way yes. pre-pandemic. Um, but it was. It was a lot of fun. It was very overwhelming because there are a lot of people. There is. Yeah. A lot of people. But it was a ton of fun. I took a, um, I took a Gemma Carell's. No. Mm. No. Um, Gemma O'Brien, the lettering artist. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I took her um, lettering her workshop course. and it yeah. was fun. Obviously, you are very good at lettering oh, um, you. from your Chicago print, so you've learned something there. Yeah, I've been doing lettering for so many years. That is something that I would love to learn more about personally, like in my personal art. Yeah, um, it's it's really fun, and it's like you can it's it's fun because there's so many different styles yeah, and things you can so run expressive. with. Yeah, um, it's something that's been really fun for me too because I do children's books now primarily. Oh. Fun. Yeah, and one of the fun things, I get to pull my lettering into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, So do you write and uh, illustrate? Um, so far, I only illustrate. Okay. Uh, I have a goal eventually to do author illustrator. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that's been really fun for me is being able to pull in my lettering into yeah, yeah, yeah. Into, my, into the books. And I've managed to do it on all... I'm on book five. I've managed to do it on almost all five books. That's so cool. Congrats. Thank you. I'm waiting for approval on the fifth one, whether or not they're going to let me... <laughs> Let, let it stay, but I've been able to do custom lettering for the titles on all of them. Yeah. And then I've been able to sneak it into the most of the books. And the first one, actually, because it's a book with sounds, mm -hmm. um, I was able to illustrate the sounds with lettering. Oh, so fun. So it worked out really well. What a great way to like incorporate your art, like use your mm -hmm. art for good, I feel like. I love yeah. that. So it's really fun. And like I've been very lucky because I always, I always ask my client, I'm like, are you open to me lettering the title? Because the they're like we can just use it. We can just use a font, but like if you want to give it a shot, like go for it. Yeah, it's way more fun. Yeah, and I was like, lettering. it's like I'm gonna. If you're gonna give me the option, like I'm gonna do it. And yeah. if you don't give me the option, I'm probably gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and just see if you like it. Yeah. Okay, this I like might work this nicely. Color combo. Okay, so that it's working now. Everything. Yeah, it's working well. Let's just for the sake of like, is this gonna ha let me generative recolor randomly for this? Like, what's our theme here? Bright and cheery. Bright and cheery. Um, let's just see, because maybe it could have really just been the Wi-Fi. Let's see. We're going to hope it was just the Wi-Fi. <laughs> no! No. All right, well, we gave it a shot. At least we found this workaround on yeah. how to do this, so. Well, we did our best. I think because it's white, it's not registering the white as a as color. As a color, yeah. So That's I wonder, what I was thinking too. Yeah, so I wonder if I would just change this to like a random color, if it would, because that may be what's happening. Because it could just be reading the color as like a knockout. Mm -hmm. All right, it's also reading the black as just a, okay, so you. Yeah, All right. but it's working on the color, so. Yeah. 
So if we do this one, we'll just, I now know for future. Yeah. And again, it could be user error for all I know. <laughs> But what would? What but that's working for white, bright and cheery for sure. Yeah. And what would a stream be without yeah, like on the fly? Yeah, of course. That's kind of that is not something I would have thought. <laughs> but it's I don't hate it. I actually really <laughs> like it. But that's the best part of gender and every color, right? Is yeah. that it can be something that you would never think of together. Yeah. Like this is not bright and cheery, but. No. Like, that could work. That is cool. I feel like I would never think of those two colors together. That actually, I think, works really well. Yeah, for bright and cheery, that's perfect. Yeah, I think the one thing I might attempt when we come back to this shortly is, like, I might adjust the purple just a hair. Yeah, like a little bit brighter. Yeah, maybe. just take it Yeah, just take it a little warmer, and I think that'll work. We've got some people in the chat saying hi to our studio manager that made a <laughs> appearance. <laughs> Bless. Thanks for sticking with us, everyone. Yes. Do that. <laughs> we appreciate it. Okay, so now you're dragging it into your library so we can go back into uh, Adobe Express and see what it will mm -hmm. look like on the mock-up. Yes. Oh, Paco's in the chat. Hey, Paco. <laughs> yes, our studio manager today is not Paco, yeah. actually. His twin brother. <laughs> yes, and he he could fool you very easily yeah. that it is Paco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since we are doing this instead, we're going to go and switch out our linked asset. Mm -hmm. It was this one down here. Yep, that's so nice it's already in there. Yes, it's so fast. And then we're just gonna, I'm gonna make it the same size, so I just gotta adjust, and then once that is... Same size, you'll take it out. Yeah, there we go. So I will get, I can lock this one for the moment, and then we're going to, there we go, delete that one, and then I'm going to unlock it. All right, so we've got that, and then now we're going to switch out this one down here, and because I know this has to be full width, it's easy to adjust that one. That looks perfect. That looks so much nicer. Yeah, it fits that print very well. It does. Um, and you can see that it was really good that we did the generative expand because otherwise mm -hmm. the printable art wall art would have covered the print. Yes. So. Because if it were where it was, it would have been, it would have been like this. Yeah. And we would have lost a lot of um, this real estate here. Yeah, totally. So what this will, what it'll allow it to do is to sit very nicely in this square mm -hmm. and fit. Perfect. Very perfectly. So what would you do here? You would download it and then set up your um, listing, listing yeah. in Etsy directly. Yeah. I'm not going to set up the listing on here because it's a lot of like yeah. back-end stuff. Technical stuff. stuff. <laughs> but what I would do is I'd go download and I would um, download as a PNG. Okay. So. Great. And then for the video, like you mentioned earlier that you are doing some videos on Etsy, mm -hmm. you would just animate the um, different parts of it? Yeah, basically yeah. what I did for the, the video was I just took uh, four different prints that were already mocked up. Yeah. And then I just lined them up and, and faded between each. Oh, just yeah. very simple. Yeah, and then it helps your Etsy shop. So yeah. great. Nice and easy to do that in Express. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah. So I'm thinking if we can either, we've got some time still. Yeah. So we can either mock up another print from the start or we can go and attempt to make a banner. Well, let's do the banner. Do yeah, the banner? let's see what that looks like. Okay, and the banner will be fun because we do have to mock up again anyways. Yeah, cool. Um, so show the banner that you have on your Etsy because I yes. think it's super cute. <laughs> this is my current banner. And is this one you did for Halloween, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, I, I switched them out just because I was like, I the one I had before didn't have really cute art. And this is a stock photo that I actually painted these lines into. Oh, cool. So I like did a little bit of um, you know, editing on that, and then I duplicated this and made new smart objects for each one so mm -hmm. that I could change out. Because if you just duplicate the smart object and you change it out, it's going to change all of them that are copied. Right, right, right. So you have to do um, new new smart object via copy. Yeah. Um, but so we have this. Okay, cool. So this is what we're going to do, something yeah. like that. This is what we're going to do. So we're going to go and do this um, Etsy listing. And then I'm going to go make a new, did that say, say, yeah, okay. Yeah. We're going to make sure because I was like, I don't want to lose it all. 
Okay, so and here's where we can actually use the pre made one. Yeah. That actually looks way wider. Let me check the cover size real quick and see if maybe I'm my brain has them mixed up. So I think it's down here. Etsy shop cover. That's it. Okay. There it is. Okay. Okay. So this is the cover. They have it. They have you know you can do a subscription where you can have like a more like beefy right. Etsy shop and mm -hmm. you can have like more banners and more things. So there's yeah. like a banner and there's a cover and that's the, this is the cover. The cover. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I'm not gonna. I need. I'm gonna figure out what is a sixteen hundred by four hundred. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna make a sixteen hundred pixel. Because I want to make it as close to. Oh yeah, that's super smart to see what the sizing is in Express and then come over here. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep. I like to work at 350 because I'm nerd, a nerdy person. <laughs> um, I always, I'm like, the more DPI I can throw in there, the better, because then I can adjust. Um, but I'm gonna do this so that I have it set up as much as possible because I know I want to leave room for text, mm -hmm. um, and I want to be able to work in the correct sizing so when we put it in I'm not like going back and forth and back and forth mm -hmm. um totally so we're gonna go to Adobe stock again and I want to do frame I'm gonna do three frames let's see if we do blank frames if it'll if it'll bring that up so we can have something like that something like this Something like that. That's kind of boring. <laughs> I kind of like this kind of works, but the hard thing with this is that it, this little um, couch at the bottom goes edge to edge. So we'd have to generate a whole lot of stuff over here. Yeah, that's true. It might work. It might not. I wonder what it would generate. Just out of curiosity. Yeah. It gets crazy. <laughs> um, this could potentially be cute, but you also have to remember that you lose everything down here. Yeah. So let's see if we can, and with this too, like we'd lose everything down here yeah. unless we gener generated you know. more, yeah. Um, and it's kind of silly. So let's see what we can, what does this bring up for similar ones if it brings up any other, oh, it brings up a triptych, that's kind of fun. I don't have anything that would fit in that. <laughs> um, I think this little, so our banner, I think we should do like kind of a Halloween theme banner. Yeah. Uh, that could, that could work. Yeah. That that looks we're gonna favorite that because what we can do too is just like save a preview and we can pop them in before we decide which one we want Ooh, okay um which makes life easy too because then you're not you don't have to commit yet um this you'd have to generate a lot to make it work yeah but it is really cute it's very for cute. halloween especially <laughs> i like this too with these scallops but i would need something just straight across yeah which i think is what I might have saved, yeah, kind of saved. No, I saved this one. Yeah. This one, though, I could do, but I kind of, where'd my hearts go? Oh, no. Internet, there we go. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so we're going between the green one and the pink one. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to see which one works best. So let's pull up my libraries. Um, Doc is asking, can you generate a background that is dialed into the Halloween theme? It's it's possible. possible. Um, I can actually show one I did a little bit of an adjusting to. Um, so I did this, and this is like the original image was. Um, is this not opening? I'll just open it in Photoshop from there. Okay. Um, so originally, this actually looked like this image mm. so it originally looks like this with this type of plant yeah um there you go so that's the original of that particular stock image and i used um generative fill yeah mm. to adjust things change them up and kind of make it a little more halloweeny to fit this adorable print i did back in 2020 for adobe max that's so cute this yeah, I mean you could do it like in the ones yeah. that you downloaded we could add some pumpkins or mm-hmm some stuff. Yeah. So it's, let's see. Yeah, so it's very Play possible. With it. So here's my Etsy assets folder. So let's see. This action creates a smart object. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's. Fits well. Oh my God, it's perfect. It is. Oh my goodness. Oh, that just makes me happy. Yeah, that's so cute. 
talk about. Dang. Okay, so we don't have to do any adjusting to this, but we could in theory, like we could pull it this way and generate something this direction, but then that really doesn't leave room for any text. Yeah. Or we could do it this way, change that out to like a pumpkin and generate this way. Yeah, let's let's do that. Undo that? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so should we buy it? Let's buy it. All right, we're gonna license this. And here we go, license image. Do, do, do. This is nice. I love that you can do this and then. It's so handy. Yeah. And then it saves it to your library and it'll update in just a moment after it, there it is. Now we have the high res image. Perfect. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a duplicate because <laughs> I always am paranoid about ruining my original one. CJ saying so satisfying that it fits so perfectly. I know. I'm assuming is what he means. <laughs> Oh, it's anything update the update too when it just was like, here you go, here's your high res image. <laughs> um, so one really fun thing with generative fill is you can use it to remove things. So you mm -hmm. just hit generative fill and you just generate with no prompt, because um, it says it says like don't put like don't use words like remove, add. Yeah, that's so, interesting. Um, so you can use it to just get rid of it. That's so good. <laughs> and that's something that before I would have to sit there and use the clone stamp. Yeah. Um, which I had got very good at, I must say, but this is a lot faster. Just faster, yeah. There, are, there's a time and place still for the absolutely for the yeah. clone stamp, but for something like this, it just makes life so much easier it's than trying to. Totally, it's so small too. It's like, just, yeah. Let's just get rid of it quickly. Exactly. And I can do an adjustment layer on this too, and change this so it's like orange. Mm -hmm. Um because it's a, it's a cooler image, so it'll just kind of warm this up if I do that. Mm -hmm. But I want to get stuff out of here first. That's interesting. There's like glass, glass, yeah, and then no and glass. Nothing. That's what happened here. <laughs> well, we're just going to run with it. Cause well, it could be like the window stops. Yeah. Well, and, the, and this looks like it could have been thrown in last minute because I think this is, these almost look like they're mirrored Yeah. in a weird way. We'll just run with it, it's fine. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna remove this little guy. We're gonna, there we go. Mm, Doc's asking if you have to remove part of where like your avatar would sit, um, or if that's just a LinkedIn or Facebook thing. I think it's more of a LinkedIn Facebook Yeah, I thing. think so too, because on your Etsy um, shop, it didn't look like there was anything. It replaced him with books. Interesting. Um, why? Did you put anything in the prompt? No. Yeah. It was just like, let's put something here. <laughs> I don't want anything there. Um, and we'll, yeah, so on the actual page, like, the icon doesn't Yeah, it doesn't cover. overlap, so. Yeah. Why is it? What? No, I don't. Let's. All right, we're going to delete that. That's so funny. I don't know what it's thinking, but we're going to do this, and we're going to just gender a fill and see if it gets rid of that. Maybe it was like, it's so cute, I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> it. It needs something here. Um, how do I, a question from the Behance chat. How do you learn how to prompt in write proper prompts? I would say like just playing around with it, right? Or like watching people do it and seeing how they write their prompts has yeah. really been helpful to me. It's like a lot of trial and error. Trial and error, for sure. So we've got that. Let's try. It gave us a plant. So it's, it's determined to give us something right here. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe if we circle the dinosaur and say pumpkin. Maybe. It would remove it and add a pumpkin. What is that? <laughs> okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> yeah. What the? It's a, it is a, a journey. That one's good except for. We just need to get rid of that. Yeah, so let's, let's do a circle here. And then we're just, let's see if it'll, if it'll put it there. Yeah, good point, Faith. It might be freaking out because of all the shadows and stuff. That's true. Um, but same idea, put a pumpkin there. <laughs> let's see if it works. Okay. Uh, That's cute. Let's try again. And I think because I have it going all the way to the bottom versus like on the middle of this, yeah. it's gonna prompt it all the way to the bottom. So we may have to adjust, adjust. Our, our spacing. This is the trial and error. 
definitely. Yeah. It's kind of a cute one, though. Yeah, that's cute. Let's, here, we'll, uh, all right, I'm going to use the polygonal, 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 I don't know how to say it, uh, lasso tool here just so I can, I use a Cintiq at home, so it's a lot easier for me to be really <laughs> accurate. Let's see. Generate music, hear the generate music. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, that works. That one's really good. Working much better. Ooh, that one's really cute too. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like this one better because this one's pulling some some highlight from yeah, who knows where. Some weird shadows. So we'll do one more just to see if it. Because I feel like the more you do, the more sometimes the more accurate it'll get. Yeah. It learns. Yeah. And then we'll go in and we'll um, build our smart objects. Got it. And then we're keeping this place blank because that's where we're going to be putting text. Yes. Oh. That one's cute. Okay, so I'm kind of between this one or... I like this one. Yeah, I still like that one. Okay, and then I'm going to try... I just want to see if us putting an adjustment layer over top um, can warm it up so it's a little more, like, Halloween-y. See if I do colorize if it'll. Oh, nice. Just a little, a little warmer. More orangey. Fall esque. So we have. We've got that to that. I like it. Okay, we'll run with this. Yeah. Definitely feels more. Yeah. Halloween vibes. So, and I'm just for the sake of my own, we're just gonna. Uh, save this out now so we don't lose anything <laughs> i've i've had scares years you know over the years where i'm like my computer's like oh we're just gonna shut down and then i lose all of my stuff all right so we're gonna do that i'm gonna remove the uh remove this the stroke and then what i'm gonna do is because it's not a smart object yet i'm just going to duplicate these Okay, easy. Yeah, because it'll it should it fits because they're all straight on, so they're pretty easy to do. And then yeah. I can adjust, you know, as needed. But those fit almost yeah perfectly. Almost perfectly. So now I'm gonna go in here and then I'm gonna turn the first one into a smart object. And we're gonna do art frame one. I'm really bad about naming layers. So I was this is a, literally just about to say you're so organized naming your layers. It is it is all an illusion. <laughs> Art frame O2. If and, and honestly, if I don't have to give my, my client the PSD, nothing gets named. <laughs> what kind of client work do you do? Um, a lot of kids' books. Yep, we were talking about that earlier. And then I do um, editorial as well. And okay. usually, a lot of, for a lot of those, I can get away with sending like a high res TIFF. Yeah, yeah. Especially if it's just like a one page thing. Yeah. Um, for kids' books, I have to do PSDs usually. <laughs> so you have to name everything. Yeah. And it's and I always tell myself in the process, like I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna do this as I go along. Do I? No. <laughs> do I kick myself later? Yeah, absolutely. Do you go back and rename them all? Yep. Oh gosh. <laughs> yep, I sure do. Okay, so we did the. Got all three frames. Put the smart object in. Yep, so now we are going to throw in some art. And I don't have a ton of Halloween art pulled because I don't have a ton of Halloween art. Um, so we're just going to grab at random just some of the things we have here. Oh, I felt like you did have a lot of Halloween art on your uh, Etsy oh, shop. Oh, on my Etsy, I did. Yeah. yeah, I have to go digging in folders. But I can, I mean, if you guys don't mind watching me dig into a folder, I know where they are. <laughs> um, I just, you can see how I have a ton. So let's uh, grab the, got to download it real quick. There we go. Again, it seems pretty organized to me. <laughs> I'm trying so hard because I, every time, I, I, I have kicked myself so many times for not being organized with my files. Um, so I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be so much better about it. Yeah. Um, we've got these dancing skeletons that I, have not I don't 
did I post these? I don't think I posted these yet. I think I did all the mock-ups and then I never got around to posting them. So we'll do like, we'll put this guy in. <laughs> this is so cute. I can see that in a ch children's book for sure. Yeah. Super cute. And then this is one of the, I'm kind of obsessed with currently. <laughs> um, cute. Yeah. And are these all fresco, Photoshop, or did you make these guys? A uh, combo of both, honestly. Okay. Um, this, the, this one was done all in fresco. Mm, wow, um, that's a lot of work. Yeah, and this is this time. is how I learned fresco on the fly was doing this piece. Oh. Um, this one was like I bounced back and forth. It just depended if I was at my desk or on the couch. Yeah. Um, and then this one, same thing. It was just am I at my desk or on the couch? And as far as these go, it's kind of like dark, dark, and then bright. So let's switch out. Let's switch this one out with. Let's see. What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? Ghosts in a trench coat. Could probably do that one. It's a dark one still, but maybe it would still be cute and work. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> but this one, all I have to do is um, do a solid color layer. Oh, yeah. To expand it. But now we have dark, dark, dark. Oh, come on. All right, let's see. You could put the ghost one in the middle. I could, too. Yeah, that could work. Actually, I think that might. that's a good idea. So... We're just going to uh, select that one, move them over, and then we'll grab the second one, move that over. Cute. Did I not save out Art Frame 3? Apparently I did not save that out. My little ghost. What happened? So we're going to grab that one again because I like the ghost and I thought I saved it. Uh, ghosts in a trench coat. Here we go. So cute. <laughs> Where that? do you come up with these ideas? They're just so cute. You know, sometimes they're just really dumb ideas that my brain was like, this could be funny. <laughs> there we go. That looks cute. That works. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sometimes they're just like really dumb ideas. And I'm like, oh, that could be funny. That could be cute. And other times I'm like, I see something, someone like wrote it down. Like there was a thing where, um, what was it? It was a, it was a, like on Reddit or something. Someone's like, I, no, I'm actually three owls in a trench coat. Like, cute. Yeah, and so I, I was like, well, three ghosts in a trench coat ghosts. could be funny. So, still can't cloud doc save. So we'll uh, go over here. We've got our banner. We're going to change the name here just so we have it. Etsy banner. And then we're going to go to media, upload, and cover. And then it'll take a moment probably to just get, you know, uploaded. But right. It'll take, Fits it's got to sync. Yeah, it's got to sync. So we'll go keep working until it does that. <laughs> um, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my logo in here. Cool. So you went your stuff, brands. Mm-hmm. And that's where, so it's um, brands and libraries. Brands and libraries. And that's where all of our, um, whatchamacallits, our graphics are. So the little printable wall art. Yeah, super nice. So I've got my logo. So I could literally just do that if I wanted. Or I could, like, pop it up in the corner. I could pop it down here. Nice. And then we'll add text. We're just going to assume that this will, at some point, <laughs> refresh. Yeah, because it did it before. So if I have, to, you know, it's how to save it. Let me. I don't want to. Okay, so it says autosave is not completed. So my guess is it's uploading. It's still uploading, yeah. Because it's you know they're they're big files. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so what can what should I put? Um, so this is going to be on the top of your Etsy. So yes. probably something like about your. There brand. we go. Yeah, it printable. upload. There we go. Printable art for your home, maybe. Yeah. Or. My 
nothing doesn't have to be super fancy no. but now we're going to play with the recommended um fonts yeah and because Ooh, i like that one. i was say because it's kind of halloweeny yeah I love this recommendable font speak or recommended fonts. I'm really bad at fonts, picking fonts. You would think that like over the like I'd be much better at it than I am, but I'm not. Because my thing is like, but I like this one, and I like this one, and I like this one. I like them all. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the. I like I like this one, and I think I can do more like this. So let's mm. see what we can find. We got that one. Chat, tell us if there is a Halloween font that you know of in Adobe Express. Yes. Because I think that there's a lot of options. That one's kind of nice. Yeah, that one's nice. And a printable art for your... Whoa, helps if I put the print period in the right spot. This is so easy. I love that this is so quick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so easy so easy to do and like they've got all these like you know different pre-made yeah you know, templates that you could use too but i find for certain things like this it's easier just to have it right you know ready be to go simple too especially because this is going to be at the top of your etsy shop that already has so much information mm -hmm. um it's probably good to keep it simple like the one you do have is pretty i mean it's fun and pink and exciting yeah. but it is still pretty simple yeah, and it's and like this works better for the season currently. Yeah, and like I was thinking maybe we can throw like a water like a brush Ooh, strip yeah. behind it, because um, these you can change the color by using adjustments mm -hmm. and the like duotone option. And these are just in the elements part, so super easy to yeah find. Let's see if I rotate this if it. This may not be a good look, a good one for it. There's a ton in there, so we can always go back and <laughs> find a new one. <laughs> Let's see if we do. That's not what I wanted to click. Um, yeah, this is it's going to be a little too distracting. I yeah. Think. There's just there's too you much. You can also happening. like turn down the opacity too if you want it to be like more subtle. Yeah. I can also change the. Do like a oh yeah it's kind of nice yeah that's nice like tech I can kind of like fake crop it I like it I was gonna say I, I actually don't hate that it adds a nice little like uh, to draw your eye across yeah now the question is do we like it partially in the frame or do we like it coming from out of the frame? I think I like it coming from out of the frame. Yeah, okay. I don't know what, I feel like we're whispering. I know. <laughs> we whisper. <laughs> you know when you get like super into your like work, you're like, just whisper about it. <laughs> like, do you ever talk to your program too? Like, oh, or talk to your art like as you're working? All the time, all the time. Like, come on, let's get bigger. Like, let's yeah. do this. <laughs> there's there's times if I have a really big file, I'm sitting there, I'm like, you can do it. Come on. <laughs> I believe in you. We're almost um, there. And then I got to, let me see if I, so this is actually overlaying on there. So let me see if I can. Oh, yeah, crop oh, it again. that's nice. That is oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. That's so perfect. And it was so, so fast. Yeah. And then what, the great thing, too, is you can lock it. So if I need to grab other stuff, I can yeah. easily grab. Nope, oh, wrong button. There we go. All right, I want to unlock that, and I'm just gonna take the size down. All right, we're gonna bring this up because then it's not interfering with the, there we go. So, we have that. And then what I can do now, I'm gonna bring this down just, just a hair. Um, just because like it looks centered but it's it just visually feels a little off balance yeah okay why can't i grab this let's try this again <laughs> there we go there all right now we're just going to move it around a little bit okay so i'm going to download this 
Oliver saying anyone that doesn't talk to their computer is weird. I agree. That is so true. I talk to myself all the time when I work. Yeah. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. Now what I can do, for at least this portion, is I can actually upload the new one. Oh, cool. So this is your actual Etsy shop. This is my actual Etsy shop. You're seeing the back end. Seen it live. Nice. So we're going to... That looks so cute. And then we're going to view shop. Come on. There you go. Ta-da. I love it. <laughs> it does really change the like whole vibe of your yeah. Etsy shop too, which is awesome. And the fun thing too is, I mean, like I have my little logo in such a way that I could change the color every yeah. every season so if I, I wanted. Match this as well. Yeah. And that's, you know, so that's how, you, how that goes. That's how you nice. do it. I love it. Yeah. It's easy. It highlights your art, which is great. I think that's something that I've talked to a lot of artists about is like, how's the best way to highlight my art? Mm -hmm. And this is a great way, even if you don't have an Etsy shop, but you just want to like show what your pieces would look like yeah. in real life. I mean. Or in a mock-up. Even sharing it to Instagram, it's kind of fun yeah. to switch it up. If you are, you know, if you usually show just like the piece done, Show it yeah. mopped up. Yeah. It just it, it adds a little element of interactivity that you don't totally, expect. and it doesn't need to be a frame. It could be like, oh, you put it on like a sweatshirt, or you put it on yeah. a bag or something, just yes. to show what it would look like. And I mean, and truthfully, I mean, you can you go on um, like Adobe Stock, and you can look up like let's look up sweatshirt, and if like again, it would help if I spelled it right. <laughs> I mean, we have time. Do you, we have do you want to show? If, can you show? I can. If yeah, like let's me do to. it. Let's do it. Okay. What it would look like on a sweatshirt. So we can do with sweatshirts and stuff. It is a little it's hard. hard. Yeah. Because you have to take into a fact, take into fact, take into account the folds and stuff. But to a degree, it you can get away with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, something like that would be, I think, a little harder because there's so there's many things happening. There's lots of wrinkles in it. Yeah. Um, and with this too, because she's moving, it changes the shape of the, yeah, of the sweater. Totally. Um, but I want to find one that like looks nice, but still yeah. has a little bit of like that could be cute. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty not uh, plain. It's not the right word. Pretty yeah. flat. Yeah, we got some options here. Let's. This is kind of that's kind of cute with the fall sweater. Yeah, I like that. The pumpkin's kind of funny. She's just like <laughs> here's the pumpkin. It there doesn't even go. look like she's holding it. It looks no, like someone just went. That's copy for paste. sure. Copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> she says, like, so here's my pumpkin. <laughs> um, no, I like the fall one. I do too. Yeah. I, I like this. I think this will work. Yeah, it's not too complicated. So let's, we'll license it. We'll see how that goes. Just throw it in there. Um, and then we'll just, I'm going to make a new folder. Just so I have it ready to go. And I have a graphic I can use on the shirt already because it's a white shirt. Yeah. So I need a graphic that doesn't have a background. Right, okay. Close that out. Oh, that's my other, my other uh, stream <laughs> later today. You're gonna oh, learn a sneak peek into yeah. a later stream. You're gonna learn more stuff. Um, yeah, you are coming back at uh, one or two? Two. One. Two? One. One. I, I host one. at noon. Yeah, I host the next one and then I'm oh, back on at one. We get you for the next couple yeah. hours. <laughs> and then and then I go straight to the airport <laughs> to get back to my oh, dog. <laughs> He's going to be so happy when I roll in at I night. know how that feels, like wanting to get back to your animals. Yeah. For sure. Well, and it was one of those, like, I have to either, like, get in tonight or I have to wait over, like wait till the next morning because the latest I could get out tonight without it being a flight where I arrived at 6 a.m. Oh, gosh. Was, like, 5.45 this evening. Um, okay, so here we have our, our shirt. So I'm going to quill over here. And I know I used to find the folder, I, but I have one on here that's already a – it's actually already up on my Etsy shop um, on my other one as a shirt. I just got to locate where, where it is. So many files. <laughs> There's so many files. Um, oh, you know what? I actually didn't make it a print in here. That's why it's not in. Okay, one second. It is going to be in here. And what it is, is it of? It is I'm a. Um, it is. What is it? I forgot what it says. I can see it in my head. I was just working with it recently. Um, where's my apparel folder? I see. This is where I'm not uh, organized. 
got love is love. We've got... There's more apparel. Nope. Where is it? Where did I put it? I, yeah, this is, this is what happens when we do on the fly. Yeah, this is great though. It's cool to see it in a different setup, like not just on the frame. Cause the frame is pretty um, flat. So it is gonna be quite different to put it on something that's not completely flat. Yeah. And like you were saying, it is a good way to showcase, like even if you're just sharing it on Instagram, like just showing your art in a different format can give maybe someone that potentially wants to work with you an idea of like, oh, actually they could design a t-shirt for me. Yeah. Whereas they might see your art and be like, this is beautiful, but not visualize it in that sense. So it is yeah, a good exactly. skill to learn to be able to mock it up. Yes. It's one that I already had mocked up and I just got to remember where I where I threw it. It's um, It says girl power. Cute. But like I said, can't remember where I put it. This is this is what happens when you are not you're not organized. The amount of files is it like overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. No, it just means that you are creating lots of art and that's amazing. I like that. That's a good that's a good theory. Yes. That's a good way around it. Um when did I make it? This is where I can Oh my gosh, you're saying you're not organized, you have everything organized into your monthly folders. Oh yeah, but these are these are amazing. I just gotta remember. Cute. I don't. I just remember what month I made it in what year. No, this is like a great way. We're all getting like a little sneak peek into your work. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone know when International Women's Day is? Because that'll answer that question. Let me look it up. International. Because that'll narrow down my folders. Chat. Tell us if you know. It's in March. March. Okay. I can tell you the date. March eighth. Okay. So this year was March eighth. All right. So I did not do it in 2020. Did I do it in 2021? I may have done it in 21. Everyone pay attention because yeah, so much beautiful art that's being highlighted right now. Ah. We're just getting a sneak peek. Was not, I didn't do any art last year. In, in, uh, <laughs> March was a- March was a quiet month. Quiet barely. month for you. <laughs> It helps if I slow down. It's actually oh, is that it? Uh, no, these were <laughs> these were gifts I was making um, back when I was watching The Bachelor. Um, oh, love that! <laughs> yeah, it was like Colton. He he went and or someone went and like jumped the, jumped fence, the fence to get out. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey Anna. Oh, we could use this little death before decap. That could be cute, actually. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, that'll save us because that one's on a white background, so is it makes your it dog? easy. Is, oh, is that your dog? yes, this is <laughs> this is Mr. Teddy Bear. Um, that's my baby. Oh, he's so cute. He had glamour shots done a few years ago in exchange for me working an event. Oh, he's so cute. It was the best uh, trade off I've ever done. Okay, yeah, this is cute. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do <laughs> bachelor fan art. And yeah, same. So we're gonna do linear burn. Okay, so same process, linear burn. Yep. And literally, there it is. That's it. Um, it's a little harder if you have like colored shirts. Yeah. Because then you have to like factor in like a white background, background with it. And, yeah. But when it's on a white shirt like this, and you can, what you do too is you just kind of take the the opacity down just a hair, um, so that it looks like it is actually sitting in that yeah. space. And then what we can actually do. So you too. didn't make it a smart object, or did you? I might have missed that. It pulled in as a smart okay, object. Got it. Um, because it is a just a JPEG file. Right. Okay. Um, if I were doing this to put on like my Etsy and stuff, I would search out the original and remove the background and got it. Upload it as a as a um, transparent PNG. PNG. Yeah. But what I can do is like we can play with the adjustment layer because it's a white background, so it's not going to change that. Yeah. So we can like change. Oh, we can make it like a little more Halloween-esque. Yeah, let's see if we up the. Those aren't working as as well as I kind of hoped they would, so we're gonna. Oh, that looks good. I mean, if you did like a one color print. Yeah. It's like something like that would work. Cause then it also matches the background. 
Robert Saint International Children's Book Day is April second. Did you know? Oh that? no, I did not, and I should. I feel you like should. I should. Yeah, for sure you should. <laughs> uh, no, this looks really good. This like definitely changes my perspective on that piece yeah. of art. And the fun thing too is like I could even go in and I could take the saturation down, and but you don't want to adjust the lightness because if you right. don't have a transparent PNG, background. Yeah. Um. But I can take the saturation down, and then I can take, like, the level. So we can play at the levels and see if that'll do anything, because sometimes it will. Is this on your um, Etsy shop? No, but I'm I, I was just about to say, do you want to do it on your Etsy shop? Because it's cons- really cute. You know what it was? Was It was a sticker I made for Creative South a couple years ago. It's super cute. Yeah, and there's, like, there's a way to do um, shirt mock-ups um, that include using displacement maps Mm. but I don't know how to do that very well so it's not something I can easily show but if you find like sometimes you'll find really good shirt mock-ups especially ones that are like for specific brands yeah um and they will have like displacement maps and stuff and so it'll be made in such a way that the art will kind of follow the the lines and stuff and the curves yeah I mean you can definitely get into that and I'm sure we have some videos on our oh, YouTube sure. channel somewhere if you guys want to learn yeah. more about this. But for the purpose of an Etsy shop, I think that this is perfect. Yeah. It really and even just like an Instagram, if you want to showcase your work, like this is perfect. Yeah. And here's another thing, like with the multiply, like you can kind of see the shirt coming through, but you don't get those shadows, like the you don't yeah, get the shading. The same shadows, yeah. So if you do linear burn, you do get that little bit of shading in there. Yeah. So it makes it look a lot more realistic. Linear burn. Linear burn is a a game changer. (laughs) It is a game changer. But so you have this nice little thing. And then I sometimes what I'll do too, just to like clean up a photo a little bit, is like right now you've got a lot of light, you've got a lot of warm and cool happening in the same thing. Um, And I will sometimes go in and we've got a couple seconds. It's not going to be pretty that I do, you know, when I do this, but I will take down the saturation um, and then I will go mask it so that it um and I can actually set this so that it's under my file there we go um it's easy like I said easier with a Cintiq because then I don't end up with uh I have more control over the pressure and stuff but this way you can kind of tone out some of these like random blues and stuff that are happening in yeah this image. for sure it is very like stark white yeah so I'll do this like sometimes I'll do this if it's just something that I I think would benefit the the image overall yep just make it feel like it's laying on there a little bit more yeah and that's something too like you can like with the saturation down it actually is going very warm um which works for the photo but it may be better if I you know bring a little bit of that tone back in yeah um so if I take it up like just a little bit, then it's that versus that. Yeah, definitely. It does blend better, I think, yeah. overall. Yeah, so then you end up with like a nice, so if that's off, you can see like the difference. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know, Very stark difference, yeah. Yeah, and it's, and it's one of those things like it's not noticeable to like anyone but you. I notice it, yeah, for sure. I wouldn't have ever looked at this one and been like, we need that. But then you see it and you're like, yep, yep. Yeah, and it helps to be able to like kind of have some consistency in your, especially in your shop between images and stuff. Um, Totally. Yeah. Cool, well, we're about wrapping up. You want to give like a 30 second recap of what we did today? Sure, let's see if we can pull this all together. Um, Yeah, so we went from pulling our, we chose our art, we have our Etsy shop, we picked our niche, and then we created a mock-up using a stock image from Adobe Stock. We went and set up our um, listing image, and we set up our banner for our Etsy shop. Amazing. All in yeah. an hour and a half. All in an hour and a half. We, All in an hour and a half. We did some amazing stuff. We did. And I learned a lot about starting an Etsy shop. So yeah. hopefully I will get that going <laughs> soon. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Stick around. Shauna will be here with us all day today going through different Firefly um, activations. Mm-hmm. So stick around, uh, and we'll see you next time. Yes. Thanks. Bye.